हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न न्यू कंसेप्ट दैट इज अ एरियाज रिलेटेड टू सर्कल्स इन दैट सेक्टर ऑफ अ सर्कल एंड इट्स एरिया ओके सो फर्स्ट वी विल टेक अ शॉर्ट रिव्यू वॉट इज मीन बाय सेक्टर इन नाइन स्टैंडर्ड वी लर्न दैट वॉट इज मीन बाय सेक्टर वॉट इज मीन बाय सेगमेंट ओके सो हियर आई एम ड्रॉइंग वन सर्कल हैविंग रेडियस इज आर सेंटर इज ओ ओके आई एम टेकिंग टू पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट्स दैट इज ए बी एंड सी ओके सो हियर दिस सर्कल इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू रीजन्स ओके फर्स्ट रीजन इज ओ ए बी ओके एंड सेकेंड रीजन इज ओ ए सी बी ओके सो दिस टू रीजन्स आर कॉल्ड एज अ सेक्टर ओके सो इफ वी डिफाइन वॉट इज सेक्टर सो सेक्टर मीन्स इट इज इट इज अ रीजन एनक्लोज बाय टू रेडियाय and an arc of a circle okay so if i am taking this as a sector this region we call as a sector okay o a b okay now this region is enclosed by two radii and arc of a circle okay so this is called sector okay so o a b is a sector another one is remaining part so this is remaining part okay that is o a c b o a c b means this part okay o a c b so this part is called as a sector okay so here o a b as a minor sector and o a c b we called it as a major sector okay why we call this oab as a minor sector because here arc is a minor arc okay and means boundary of this sector is minor arc and boundary of this sector is a major arc so this region is called as a minor sector and this region we call as a major sector okay minor sector means boundary of this region or part of the region is a minor arc then that region is called as a minor sector then if boundary of region is a major arc then we called as a that sector we called it as major sector okay so here this region is called minor sector and this region is called major sector this is major sector and this is minor sector okay so minor sector and major sector depends on minor arc so here ab is an arc this is arc this is minor arc okay now why we say that this arc is a minor arc okay because if this arc subtend angle at the center is less than 180 degree okay if suppose this angle we denote it as a theta and if this theta less than 180 degree okay then we call it as a minor arc and that sector we call it as a minor sector okay because if theta is equal to 180 degree then it is a straight line okay this theta is 180 degree so this is a semi circle okay so arc is a circumference of semi circle okay so when theta is less than 180 degree then that sector is called as a minor sector and that arc we call it as a minor arc okay and this is this theta is a greater than 180 degree so this is major arc okay and this sector is called as a major sector okay 
so area of sector how we get area of sector that is a uh, if we find this uh, minor sector area of minor sector and if we have to find area of major sector then area of circle minus area of minor sector okay now we will we will take next point that is a how to find area of minor sector or how to find length of minor arc major arc then area of minor sector and major sector okay so now we will dis discuss next point that is a area of a next point is area of a sector so before this point first we will find how to find length of an arc okay so this is a b and length of an arc a b we have to suppose at l okay this arc a b subtends angle theta at the center of the circle okay here it is a center of circle and this arc subtends angle theta at the center of circle okay so how we will find length of an arc if suppose if theta is 180 degree if theta 180 degree then length of an arc is a circumference of semicircle okay if theta is this 180 degree means if theta we will increase up to 180 degree then this length of an arc that is becomes a circumference of semicircle okay so if theta 180 degree length of an arc is equal to circumference of semicircle okay that is a 2 pi r divided by 2 that is equal to par pi r that is a this okay if theta 180 degree then length of an arc means circumference of this semicircle okay without including diameter only we have to find length of an arc so this length of an arc is a pi r okay so for theta is equal to 180 degree length of an arc is a pi r okay so if we have to find means for 180 degree angle length of arc is pi r so if theta degree angle is there what is the length of an arc okay here we have to use unitary method okay if theta is 180 degree then length of an arc is a pi r okay but if theta is there means it is less than 180 degree then what is the length of an arc so we will get formula if we cross multiply x into 180 degree is equal to theta into pi r okay that is x is equal to theta upon 180 degree into pi r okay so this is the formula to find length of an arc okay or if we more simplify this okay if we multiply by 2 to numerator and denominator so what we have theta into 2 pi r divided by 180 into 2 that is a 360 okay so l or length of an arc formula is the length of an arc is equal to theta upon 360 into 2 pi r or theta upon 360 degree into circumference of circle okay so if theta is given suppose theta is 30 degree given this theta is 30 degree given and if, if we have to find length of an arc a b suppose this so we have to use this formula so l is equal to theta upon 360 into circumference of circle so this is the formula to find length of an arc okay this a b okay and if we have to find this major arc okay a c b suppose this a c b so if you have to find length of major arc how we will get this length of major arc 
circumference of semi uh, circumference of circle minus this length okay length of minor arc okay circumference of circle means total minus length of an minor arc okay so this is minor arc and length of major arc what is formula that is circumference of circle minus length of minor arc okay so this is the formula to find length of major arc okay length of major arc is equal to circumference of circle minus length of minor arc okay understand this formula now we will take area of sector okay now see here okay area of sector how we will get area of sector if theta is equal to 360 degree means total area okay if theta 360 degree means this total okay if i am considering theta 360 degree so what is area enclosed by this theta okay that is a area of circle means if theta 360 degree then we have area that is area of circle pi r square and if angle is theta so what is the area we have to find that that is area we have to suppose that x so this method is called as a unitary method in 8th standard we learn this method okay if theta is 360 degree then area of circle is pi r square okay means we have to consider whole circle okay but if theta is there means any angle other than this 360 degree less than 360 degree so we have to suppose that that area is x so here we get 360 into x is equal to theta into pi r square so x is equal to theta upon 360 degree into pi r square okay so this is the formula to find area of minor sector okay means if this is theta this theta and if we have to find this area then we have to use this formula area of minor sector is equal to theta upon 360 degree into pi r square okay so this is the formula to find area of minor sector okay and area of major sector okay here i am drawing this circle again this is a minor sector okay subtending angle theta okay now if we have to find this area of this major sector okay this total okay so if i am finding this area of major sector how we will get area of major sector so area of major sector is equal to area of circle minus area of minor sector area of circle minus area of minor sector that is the formula to find area of major sector okay area of major sector if i am finding this area then area of circle minus area of minor sector we will get area of major sector okay another one formula is there that is uh, if we have to find this theta suppose if this is theta given 30 degree so what is theta for major sector that is a uh, 360 minus 30 that is 330 degree okay so if we put this 330 degree here in this formula then we will get area of major sector okay if we put this angle 330 degree 
in this formula then we will get area of major sector directly okay otherwise first find area of minor sector means here suppose theta is 30 degree so find area of minor sector means this area and then subtract this area from area of circle we will get area of major sector okay and uh, otherwise take theta is 330 degree okay because here this theta is 30 degree so 360 degree minus 30 330 degree and then use this theta here and find area of major sector okay so this is these are the formulae for finding minor sector major sector okay and previous one is length of an minor arc and major arc okay so here i am writing all these formulas first one that is uh, length of minor arc okay length of minor arc is equal to theta upon 360 degree into 2 pi r length of major arc is equal to circumference of circle into oh sorry minus length of minor arc okay or here also you can put same if theta 30 degree and if you have to find length of major arc find that theta okay means 360 minus 30 that is 330 degree put here you will get length of major arc okay otherwise this formula so this is first one this is second one length of major arc third one area of sector or you can say area of minor sector is equal to theta upon 360 degree into pi r square and fourth one area of major sector is equal to area of circle minus area of minor sector okay so these four formulas are there another one formula is there if length of an arc is given okay means l is given okay and radius of circle is given then how we will get area of sector directly okay no need to find first theta and then put value of theta here to get area of minor sector okay if length of an arc is given and radius of circle is given how we will get area of sector so we will derive that formula we know that area of minor sector is what is area of minor sector that is theta upon 360 into pi r square okay so theta upon 360 degree into if we multiply here by 2 okay multiply and divide so here 2 pi r square divided by 2 okay here i am multiplying 2 to numerator and denominator okay now this 2 i am writing here as 1 by 2 into theta upon 360 degree into this pi r square or here we can write like this way 2 pi r this 2 pi r uh, from r square i am writing 1 r is here and 1 r is here okay so what we get half into theta upon 360 into 2 pi r now we know that this is formula for length of an arc so half into instead of this we can put l into r so this is new formula to find area of minor sector when length of an arc and radius of circle is given okay so area of sector or we can say that minor sector area of sector is equal to half into 
L into R. This is the new formula to find area of sector. Okay, when length of an arc and radius of circle is given. Okay, so here no need to find first theta by using length of an arc formula, and that theta we have to put here again to find area of sector. Okay. here direct formula is there half into l into r okay we will take useful points okay so we see clock in that clock two hands are there that is a minute hand and hour hand okay minute hand cover 360 degree in 60 minutes okay so angle covered in 60 minutes by minute hand is equal to 360 degree so angle covered in 1 minute by minute hand is equal to 360 by 60 that is a 6 degree okay so examples depend on this if suppose minute hand cover 35 minutes then what is the area swept by minute hand okay so for that first point i am taking angle covered in 60 minutes that is a 360 degree by minute hand okay so angle covered in 1 minute by minute hand that is a 360 by 60 that is a 6 degree okay similarly for our hand so our hand in 12 hours angle covered by our hand in 12 hours that is equal to 360 degree okay so first time writing that angle covered in 12 hours by our hand is equal to 360 degree okay so in 1 hour how much degree it cover okay so angle covered in 1 hour by our hand is equal to how we find this 360 divided by 12 that is equal to 30 degree okay so angle covered in 1 hour or here i am writing this in front of this angle covered in 1 hour by our hand is equal to 30 degree okay and then angle covered in 1 minute by our hand is equal to how to find that is a 30 by 60 30 degree by 60 that is a half degree okay so in 1 minute our hand cover angle that is a half degree okay so angle covered in 12 hours by our hand that is 360 degree so in 1 hour 360 by 12 that is 30 degree and in 1 minute that is 30 by 60 means half degree okay so angle covered by our hand in 1 minute that is a half degree okay so keep these two points angle covered in 1 minute by minute hand is 6 degree angle covered by our hand in 1 minute is half degree okay now we will take example on area of sector okay first example is a sector is cut from a circle of radius 21 cm the angle of the sector is 150 degree find the length of an arc and area of sector okay so this is first example what is given quantity is theta is given 150 degree 
then radius is given so r is equal to 21 cm we have to find the length of an arc and area so first l is equal to we know the we know that formula for length of an arc that is a theta upon 360 degree into 2 pi r okay so theta is 150 upon 360 into 2 pi 22 by 7 and r is 21 okay so 7 threes are then this will cancel uh, 3 fives are 3 twelves are then 2 six are 3 twos are so what is remain 5 into 22 upon 2 2 elevens are so 11 fives are 55 centimeter that is a length of an arc okay it is a length so unit is centimeter okay now second area of sector okay theta uh, area is equal to theta upon 360 into pi r square so theta 150 upon 360 pi 22 by 7 or 21 into 21 okay 7 3s are then again same 3 5s are 3 12s are 2 6s are 2 11s are 3 2s are so what is remain 5 into 11 into 21 upon 2 11 5s are 55 into 21 upon 2 21 5s are 105 so 21 5s are 105 plus 10 that is 115 divided by 2. So 2 5s are 10, 11 minus 10, 1, 15, 2 7s are 14, 1, 2 7s are 10, 2 5s are. So area of sector that is a 577.5 centimeter square. Okay. So this is area of sector okay now we will take second example second example is find the area of the sector of a circle whose radius is 14 centimeter and angle of sector is 45 degree okay so here theta is given 45 degree and r is given 14 centimeter okay so area formula is theta upon 360 into pi r square okay so 45 upon 360 into pi 22 by 7 r square so r is 14 so 14 multiplied by 14 okay 7 2 are here 9 5 are here 40 5 1 are 5 8 are okay then here 2 1 are 2 2 4 are 8 so what is remain 22 into 14 upon 4 so 2 2 are 4 2 7 are 2 1s are 2, 2 11s are. So 11 into 7, 77 centimeter square. So area of sector whose angle is 45 degree and radius is 14 centimeter is 77 centimeter square. Okay. Now we will take third example. Third example is in figure there are shown sectors of two concentric circles of radii. 7 centimeter and 3.5 centimeter find the area of the shaded region okay so here there are two sectors o a b that is a one sector of a circle having radius is 7 centimeter okay means this radius is 7 and another sector is there that is a sector o c d having radius is 3.5 centimeter okay so these two sectors are sectors of two concentric circles okay means it is like this way one circle is having radius 7 another one is having radius is 3.5 and it is like this way and we have to find the this region okay shaded region so how we get this shaded region area of this sector OAB minus area of sector 
OCD. Okay. So here we have to suppose that R1 is equal to 7 centimeter, R2 is equal to 3.5 centimeter. Theta is common. This is theta. So theta is common. That is 30 degree. Okay. And we have to find the shaded region. Okay. So area of shaded region. Here I am taking directly formula that is area means directly area of shaded region. No need to find separate means area of sector OAB, then area of sector OCD, then subtract it. If we will take directly area of shaded region, area of sector OAB minus area of sector OCD. So we can take common quantities and it is easy to simplify. So area of shaded region is equal to area of sector OAB minus area of sector OCD okay so area of sector OAB that is a theta upon 360 into pi r1 square minus theta upon 360 area of sector OCD that is theta upon 360 into pi r2 square okay now we are theta upon 360 into pi this is common uh, okay so we will take common this theta upon 360 into pi what is remain r1 square minus r2 square okay r1 square minus r2 square now put this values theta is 30 so 30 upon 360 into pi is 22 by 7 r1 7 square minus r2 is 3.5 square okay now here i am using identity to write a uh, 7 square minus 3.5 square a square minus b square that is easy to simplify so i will cancel this 3 ones are 3 3 twelves are 2 11 are 2 6 are. so what is remain 11 upon 6 into 7 here 7 square minus 3.5 square that is a 7 minus 3.5 and 7 plus 3.5 okay uh, or we can write here it is not visible so I am writing here this one so it is equal to 11 upon 6 into 7 into a square minus b square that is a 7 minus 3.5 and 7 plus 3.5 okay so 11 upon 6 into 7 7 minus 3.5 that is a 2.5 okay sorry 3.5 and into 7 plus 3.5 that is a 10.5 okay now this 7 into 0 0.5 okay so 11 upon 6 0 0.5 we can write 1 by 2 and this 10.5 we can write 105 by 10 okay then if we reduce this 3 2 are 3 3 are 9 10 minus 9 115 3 5 are okay then 5 2 are 5 7 are so what is remain 77 upon 8 that is a uh, if we simplify this 77 upon 8 8 9 are 72 5 remain 50 8 6 are 48 2 remain 20 16 4 remain 8 5 are okay so area of shaded region is equal to 9.625 centimeter square okay now we will take fourth example next example is a pendulum swings through an angle of 30 degree and describes an arc 8.8 .8 centimeter in length find the length of the pendulum okay suppose this is pendulum and it swings through an angle 30 degree so if it swings an angle 30 degree so this angle is 30 degree okay so what is given describes an arc 8.8 .8 centimeter so this arc 
is given 8.8 centimeter in length find the length of the pendulum means this length we have to find okay so it looks like a sector of a circle and length of an arc of a sector given 8.8 .8 centimeter theta describes by that sector is 30 degree so we have to find the length of the sector okay so length of sector means here radius of sector this is radius okay so here what is given theta is 30 degree given and length of an arc is given 8.8 .8 centimeter okay so by using length of an arc formula find we have to find radius so l is equal to theta upon 360 into 2 pi r okay so l is here 8.8 .8 theta 30 upon 360 into 2 pi 22 by 7 and r is r we have to find okay so this 3 1s are 3 3 12s are 2 6 are then 2 3s are 2 11 are so what is remain 11 into r upon 3 into 7 is equal to 8.8 .8. now this 3 into 7 and 11 shift here so what we have 8.8 .8 into 3 into 7 divided by 11 is equal to r okay so 11 ones are 11 this is uh, 0 0.8 so 3 sevens are 21 into 0 0.8 is equal to r so this is 16.8 so r is equal to 16.8 centimeter okay so this is the length of the pendulum okay so here we can write length of pendulum is 16.8 centimeter okay understand this now we will take fifth example next example is the length of minute hand of a clock is 14 centimeter find the area swept by the minute hand in one minute okay so this is clock suppose means it is a circle this is minute hand okay and what is given length of minute hand is 14 centimeter so this is 14 centimeter okay so how much area swept by the minute hand in one minute okay so in one minute we know that minute hand cover six degree angle so suppose this is six degree angle okay so what we have to find what is the area of this sector okay okay so what we have to find area of the sector or area swept by the minute hand in one minute in one minute minute hand cover six degree angle okay so this area we have to find so length of minute hand we have to suppose that a radius of sector okay so r is equal to 14 centimeter okay here i am writing minute hand cover covered angle in one minute is equal to six degree okay so area is equal to theta upon 360 into pi r square okay so theta that is six upon 360 into pi 22 by 7 r square that is a 14 into 14 so if we simplify this 7 2 are 6 6 are so 60 it is this is 30 then what is remain area is equal to 22 into 14 upon 30 okay again we can simplify 15 11 so 11 into 4 44 11 ones are 11 plus 4 
that is a 15. So 154 upon 15, 15 ones are 15, then 0, then 14, uh, 15 twos are 30, 10 remain 100, 15 six are 90, 10 remain, okay, so it is 10.267 centimeter square, so area is equal to 10.267 centimeter square okay so minute hand of a clock when length of minute hand is 14 centimeter swept area in one minute is 10.267 centimeter square okay now we will take next example next example is the perimeter of a sector of a circle of radius 5.2 centimeter is 16.4 centimeter find the area of the sector okay so what is given perimeter of sector so if i am drawing this sector perimeter of sector means this two radii plus length of an arc okay so this is called perimeter of sector o a b suppose this is perimeter uh, sorry this is a sector then if I am writing perimeter of sector OAB, it is equal to OA plus OB plus length of an arc AB. Okay. Length of an arc AB. Okay. So OA and OB. OA is radius, OB also radius, and length of an arc we have to suppose at L. So 2R plus L, this is the perimeter of sector, okay? And this perimeter of sector is given 16.4 and, okay, here I am putting this next step, 16.4, radius is given 5.2 and we have to find the area of sector. So first we have to find length of an arc, so 2 into R, that is uh, 5.2 plus L okay so 16.4 is equal to 2 2 are 4 2 5 are 10 10.4 plus L so L is equal to 16.4 minus 10.4 okay it is equal to 6 so L is equal to 6 centimeter okay now we have to find the area of sector so we have formula area is equal to when length of an arc is there and radius so here we have length of an arc that is 6 centimeter so half into l into r okay so half into l is 6 r is 5.2 so here 2 3 is are 6 3 2 are 6 3 5 are 15 so 15.6 centimeter square that is a area of sector okay here no need to find theta Directly we can use half into L into R formula. We will get area of sector. Okay. Now we will take seventh example. Next example is the minute hand of a clock is 10 centimeter long. Find the area of the face of the clock described by the minute hand between 9 a.m. and 9.35 a.m. Okay. So here we have to find how much area swept by the minute hand between 9 a.m. and 9.35 a.m. So it is in between means 9 a.m. and 9.35 a.m. means 35 minutes. Okay. So in one minute we know that minute hand covered angle that is 6 degree. So in 35 minutes. So theta is equal to 6 into 35. Okay. Because between 9 a.m. and 9.35 a.m. 35 minutes are there. And in one minute minute hand cover 6 degree angle so 6 degree into 35 that is a 6 5 are 30 3 6 3 is 18 plus 3 21 so 210 degree okay so here theta is 210 degree length of minute hand is 10 centimeter given means radius is 10 centimeter okay and we have to find the area now we have theta radius so we can find area that is theta by 360 into pi r square okay here theta is greater than 180 okay so we know that it is a major sector okay 
but we can find directly also okay here suppose this is theta 210 degree okay so we can put theta 210 degree here and 210 upon 360 is into pi r square we will get area of this major sector okay or another method is there first find this angle means 360 minus 210 okay then find area of this and then area of circle minus this area we will get area of major sector okay so 210 divided by 360 into 22 by 7 r is 10 into 10 okay so here I think okay pi is not given so we have to consider as a 22 by 7 okay so this 0 cancel 3 7 are 3 12 are this 7 and this 7 cancel 2 6 are 11 are so what is remain 11 into 10 into 10 upon 6 so that is a 1100 upon 6 6 1s are 6 5 remain 50 6 8s are 48 2 remain 20 6 3s are 18 2 remain so 6 3s are 18 okay that is a area of sector is equal to 183.33 centimeter square okay understand this one Okay.